Hey guys, it's El Pageo. I'm coming back to you with some more matches from the Kyber Cup 2 tournament. Today I've got Ascendance Empire versus Ambiguously Gay Duo. And uh, let's just hop right into it. Yeah. For Ascendance Empire, we have It's Logics playing Hans and Porgas playing uh, Luke. And for Ambiguous League Duo, we have Willis McGehee playing Libator and Mick Culla playing Bosk. These are their starting hands. We got Han playing Wookiee Warrior, Luke playing Pathfinders. There's a push bottom with Vader with uh, Afra as well as a Gubak. Bosk is staying far back. Luke's down, little low health, but Vader's down and dead. There's an MPV push middle by the Empire. Double, looks like double drop pod plus Iron Mine's got half a turret on that bottom lane. Luke's gonna go in and suicide try to get some more damage, but doesn't quite get it. Uh, he's stopped cold by Bosk and Vader. Vader's counter pushing again with a Dewback, Bladesman, and IG88. But that's going to be stopped cold by Luke. And Luke is able to get aggro and do that minus. Bosk is pushing top with his person, but there's a turret deployed, so he's going to have to get through that. He gets some damage down. Uh, another double drop pot bottom for the Rebels. And Luke's going to get in there, and he's going to iron mine. They're going to get that turret, so it's a 1 0 lead for the Rebels team, which is Ascendance. Bosk is pushing top, slow push with the do back. They got through the Wookiee Warrior and they've got Bladesman behind the Dewback. Han's already in position to get aggro and that Boomerang Man's gonna... Uh, Boomerang Man as well as the turret's gonna get a lot of those uh, that push down. Boss goes down. They do get about a third of that top turret. Another slow push with the Dewback in the back. Uh, Riot Trooper is up against that Boomerang Man. IG-88 also deployed. Han's low on health. Boss wasn't quite able to get the stun off to get that kill. But they, are, they have a turret, so... Double drop pot on the center turret by the rebel team. They're gonna get about half a mil turret with that iron mine. So, so far the rebel team with a commanding lead of one turret and half a turret middle. Whereas the Imperial team has half a turret top. Nerve gas played by the Imperials. They're about to take Han out and took Han. But Bosk is low in health and that Boomerang Man's gonna get that kill and they're not gonna get a push top. Vader's pushing bot slowly but, but Luke's in the way. And that goes and do back, so no push there either. There's 14 seconds left and the Imperials are gonna have to play do something miraculous to get that turret. In the meantime, there's a double drop pod middle. Rebel's gonna run, Luke's gonna run in there. They might get a two, zero turret lead right here. And they do get the turret after all. So that's a two zero lead for Ascendance Empire playing Rebels. And on the game two. So this time the factions have swapped. We have Ambiguously Gay Duo playing Rebels with Willis McGeehy on playing Luke and Mick Culla playing Han. And Ascendance Empire playing Empire with It's Logic playing Callus and Porkas playing Vader. These are their starting hands. There's already a repaired droid dropped by the Empire. An early tie to kill whatever it was in bottom lane. There's a Grenadier played with Chewbacca and Tal's Marauders top. And a drop pot played. And Iron Mine. So they're going to take out the repair. Vader's low in health. Khan's low also, but they still got to push. They have to get through the Dewback. In the meantime, Kallus is pushing bottom against with ATSC on the turret. 
Kallus is duking out with Luke, but Luke wins the duel. But there is half a turret taken by the Imperial ATST. And repair out on top to take whatever ship that was damaged done, done by Han earlier in his push. Han pushing again with the Tosma Riders. He's running there, he's gonna drop his. Oh, he doesn't quite get his mine off. He was pulled off before he could drop his mine. And he gets, he gets, he gets down to Vader. Another ATSC push with Kallus bottom, fast push. That means it's played high up in the lane and doesn't have a lot of support with it. But Kallus himself is there, taking the aggro for the Wookiee Warrior. And they use Energy Net Luke off the ATST. Kallus is doing a lot of damage to Luke, and the ATSC almost gets a turret. Kallus goes in there and finishes it off, so it's one turret to nothing. Almost two turrets to nothing for the Empire team. Han's going in there and gets quite a bit of damage down with Chewbacca on the thing, uh, drop pod. Looks like they might actually get this turret. That drop pod and Iron Man's gonna get the turret. So that's a 1-1 one, a one, one turret uh, game right now. There's a push with Vader and Talos top against both Luke and Han defending. But there's a lot of units on the Imperial side. Vader's gonna have aggro, uh, turn aggro with Rain Man to fight that that way. And both Imperials go down, a stalwart defense by the Rebels. They do lose some damage to Chip, but they were able to kill both heroes down. 33 seconds left, still tie game, 1-1 one, one turrets, but the Rebel turret is down to a sliver. ATS is going to go down. I don't think I've seen the turret played. I don't think they have a turret. I don't know how they're going to stop this Chip. Boomerang Man will be where and Luke is not going to be enough to stop the ATS even getting two shots off. And the turret is down. 16 seconds left. Han tried to push quick on the other lane. They got half a turret down, but Kallus was able to defend. And it's going to be GG. Ascendance Empire wins two matches to advance to the next round. All right, thanks for watching, guys. So that was Ascendance Empire versus Ambiguously Gay Duo, round two. And the and Ascendance Empire has advanced to round three to fight Whale Mafia. Um, I will try to get as many of these games as possible. Some of them have been scheduled at times. I've not been able to get the replays before they, uh, before they disappear from the guild chat, unfortunately. But I was fortunately enough, uh, early enough to get this one. And so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.